Orelitsa, the new Palestinian cabinet is ready to go to work after it was overwhelmingly approved by Palestinian lawmakers, 83 in favor and just three against. Now, as you mentioned, Norway was the first country to recognize this new government, saying that Norway will do what it can to lift sanctions that have been imposed on the Palestinian Authority for the last year. That embargo has crippled the Palestinian economy and made it virtually impossible for the previous government to do its job. Now, other countries are still taking a wait-and-see approach, uh, but as you mentioned earlier, Israel has already come out rejecting the new government, saying it does not meet the three conditions needed to lift those financial sanctions. Those three conditions were renouncing violence, uh, explicitly recognizing the state of Israel, and honoring all previous peace agreements. Now this, despite the fact that uh, in his speech to parliament, Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas did call for an end to violence. Here's what he said. We should reiterate that we reject all sorts of violence. And we uh, look after, we look for a, an agreement, uh, a solution that is based on negotiations. And we agree today, we welcome, today we say that we welcome the resumption of those negotiations in order to reach a final status agreement, a comprehensive peace, away from all interim or provisional uh, solutions, including the state of provisional, with provisional borders. Now, on the other hand, uh, Palestinian Prime Minister Ismail Haniya, when he uh, read the list of the new cabinet members and also unveiled the political platform of this new government, he seemed to take a different approach. Here's an expert excerpt. The government emphasizes that resistance with all its means, including the popular resistance against occupation, is a legitimate right for the Palestinian people. Now, Israel says the statement of reiterating the right of Palestinian resistance shows that, this, that Hamas has not changed its militancy, that the Hamas-led government essentially remains the same. Now, the question is, what will other members of the international community think? Will they agree with Israel or take Norway's approach and try and lift those sanctions, Rilitsa? Different attacks happened in the Sunni dominated. Anbar province. The attacks show a continuation in a trend of suicide bombers lacing their attacks with chlorine. Kira Phillips is in Baghdad and tells us why this tactic is becoming popular and very troubling. A fairly new tactic, uh, these chlorine filled trucks that I'm told and now we're seeing three bombings uh, coming forward through U.S. military information. Suicide
National Unity Government, uh, which was sworn in in the past hour, overwhelmingly uh, supported by the legislature, the Palestinian legislature. One of those Palestinian lawmakers who just been sworn in is Saeb Aragat. He joins us now uh, live from Ramallah. Uh, Mr. Aragat, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, you probably have heard Israel's reaction to the new unity government that you have just been sworn to serve. Uh, basically, a rejection of this government of dealing with it uh, because it does not recognize Israel, it does not uh, renounce violence or respect any past agreements that have been reached. Your reaction to that? Well, uh, Relitsa, Fatah did not come Hamas today in joining this coalition government, and Hamas did not come uh, to become to be uh, Fatah. Uh, this coalition came as a result of the internal Palestinian fighting. We heard what President Abu Mazen said today. He reiterated his recognition of Israel, renunciation of violence, acceptance of agreement signed. Uh, the Prime Minister, in his platform that he submitted, even though he recognized the uh, Palestinian state on the 67 border, uh, he uh, said he would respect the agreement signed, Arab legitimacy, international legitimacy. But we really, the President and us, we want the Prime Minister to take the extra mile to move in the direction of accepting the principles of the international community, recognizing Israel, mutual recognition, two-state solution, renouncing violence, and accepting agreement uh, signed. I think the whole, the, the whole program, I'm not saying that this uh, came the way we wanted to come, but I think there was something that uh, had happened uh, today. Uh, you have to look at the way, the way we look at this government, uh, Relitsa, and I wasn't, the government sworn in front of us, not, I wasn't part of it, but I would like to say that this government has two jobs. Number one, internally, is to end chaos and lawlessness in our streets, to establish the rule of law, the one authority, the one gun. And number two, is to end the siege imposed on the Palestinian people because we, as your report said, 70% poverty, 70% yes, uh, loss of speaking, investments. Speaking of this the, the siege, let's listen, to, destroyed. Yes, uh, let's listen to what the Israeli government spokesman had to say specifically and, and have you react to that. This new national unity government does not in any way seem different from what we saw before. There's no clear recognition of the state of Israel. There's no acceptance of the former treaties that we signed with the Palestinian Authority. And not only is there no renunciation of violence, of terrorism, Today, the new Palestinian Prime Minister openly called for the Palestinians to continue to resist against Israel, to continue to fight, to commit acts of terror. For us, this is unacceptable, and we will not recognize, we will not deal in any way with this new government. So the Israelis will not deal in any way. They say that uh, what they want is for the new government to renounce resistance against Israel. Uh, you probably understand their position. How can they engage and make peace uh, with a movement that is saying that they will resist, that, that they're still committed to the destruction of Israel? Well, actually, the platform of the government relates if they specified the establishment of a Palestinian state in the 1967 border. Uh, it spoke about respecting agreement signed. Look, I want the Prime Minister of, uh, to be a Prime Minister of all Palestinians. I want this government to move in the direction of recognizing Israel, renouncing violence and accepting the two-state solution and at the same time accepting agreement signed. But you have to keep in mind, Relitsa, that the negotiation, the political negotiations with Israel is not the job of the government, it's not the job of the Legislative Council, it is the job of President Abbas and the PLO. And we really hope that this will not be... Any
Legislator Saeb Erekat, thank you very much for the Palestinian perspective of the new national unity government and Israel's refusal to deal with it. Thank you very much for joining us.